Hey everyone, and welcome to a new Stackland Studio experience. In this video, we're going to talk about my opinion of the Elgato capture cards over their competition. Do you want two day prime shipping, free Twitch subscriptions and more? If so, sign up at the link in the video's description to Amazon Prime and start your 30 day free trial today. Now, I won't say that I've been in this business long, but in the small time that I've been recording for YouTube, I've gone through eight capture cards, including the one that I'm currently using. Now, I won't say that I've had horrible experiences with the other companies, but they're pretty bad. So let's talk about where the others went wrong and how Elgato got my money now three times. With my first capture card, I was young, inexperienced, and frankly, I just wanted to do YouTube. So I chose the Sabrent VD-GRBR. It didn't have HDMI and would only record in 480p. It was a complete disgrace to my channel and I regret buying it. I wish I would have done more damage to it in the time that I had it. It ended up just dying, sadly naturally, and I couldn't do anything about it because it overheated and just died. That was sad. Next, I had the Aver Media Live Gamer Portable. In a time before the HD60 from Elgato, the LGP was actually the cheapest that I could get. I loved how I could record with it on the go, which I actually always use that feature over recording directly into my computer for some reason. I don't remember why. And the price was only around 120 US dollars. It was the bang for my buck card that my channel seriously needed. I could have saved some money, however, and went with the Elgato Game Capture HD. But I refused to believe that they were any better, so much so that I completely ignored them as a company. What a mistake, and a waste of 40 bucks. More recently, I have tried the Gaming HD, or Gaming HD 60, or Gaming 60. You find it with a bunch of different names, from Hapog or Huppage or however you want to call them, uh, which I had actually bought two, and both have now been returned to Amazon. The software was horrid, and one of the units didn't even work. It was a bundle of headaches that I really wish I hadn't have wasted my time with. Speaking of time, if you buy them from Amazon, expect about a four to five week wait to get your device. Finally, I tried the LGP Lite, the little brother to the card that saved my channel. And well, all I can say is that I wish I hadn't. It lags behind the video, even with the new firmware upgrades, and it doesn't work even remotely close to the full model. Finally, I gave in and gave up and caved in, finally buying the Elgato HD60 Pro. What? Why the most expensive model, you might ask? Well, I'll tell you, because I wanted my desk to be clean. Well, more clean than it currently is. Uh, further, I hadn't thought that I'd be switching to a laptop for my render stream and main machine. I had assumed that my life wouldn't continue to change. But Honestly, the software is great and allows me to record in separate tracks for my music, game audio commentary, and chatter from programs like Discord and TeamSpeak. The Game Capture HD program isn't updated often, and that is fine. It doesn't have to be. It works and works well. I love Elgato, and I hope to work with them to get you all a Game Capture HD 60 as well. If you want one, be sure to tweet this video to at Elgato Gaming and ask them to sponsor a giveaway on my channel. I'll be switching full time to the HD60 after the tax season, but we probably won't see any difference because, well, Elgato just works. If you want to purchase any of the products that I talked about, please check in the video's description. I highly recommend saving up for at least the Elgato Game Capture HD. Because everything that everyone had said about Elgato was true. 
and I do wish that I would have listened. So thank you all for watching, and as always, I will hopefully catch you all in the next one.